Security officials in Sri Lanka are in the process of uncovering crucial information with regards to the gruesome attacks that took place in eight locations of the country. It is in this backdrop that security forces have identified the suicide bomber involved in the attack at a rest house in Dehiwala. It is now confirmed that Abdul Halif Jamil Mohammed, who was a resident of Kendi, was supposed to carry out an attack at the St. Mary's Church in Dehiwala. Although he had reached the church in the morning of that fateful Sunday, he had returned to the rest house in the area where he was residing at the time of these attacks. Mohammed had used two three-wheelers to and from the church and the rest house on Sunday. Police had taken both three-wheelers into custody and apprehended the drivers. The owner of the rest house is also being questioned in police custody. Meanwhile, police officers have also arrested another person on suspicion near the St. Mary's Church in Dehiwala today. He is a resident of Demetagoda. Security operations are being conducted across the island today as well. In one of these operations in Nochiagama, police found explosives at a house that is located near a fuel station. 23 packets of ammonia weighing 25 kilograms, 314 water gel capsules, 46 rolls of normal red-colored thread and 18 rolls of normal orange-colored thread were found. Eight residents, including the owner of the house, were apprehended by the police. Meanwhile, the Explosive Ordnance Disposal personnel of the Sri Lanka Air Force today made a thorough check of a motorbike that was parked near the Kingsbury Hotel in Colombo. However, no explosives were found. Police Special Task Force also conducted a thorough search in and out the luxury house in Demetagoda, where one of the explosions took place on Sunday. Police K-9 unit was also deployed in the operation. Some of the neighbouring houses were also searched during today's operation. Following a tip-off regarding a suspicious car parked at the Pitakote Junction, the bomb disposal unit of the STF took swift action to evacuate citizens from the area while they searched the vehicle. However, nothing suspicious was discovered. Meanwhile, following a tip-off via the police emergency hotline 119, police and police special task force took immediate action to search a three-wheeler which had been parked in a crossroad in Kandy for a few days. A Dutch national had then came forward to say that he had hired the three-wheeler a few months ago. Army officials today also conducted a thorough search inside a bus that was parked at premises of the Hitatya Temple in Mathura during the early hours of last Sunday. After confirming that there are no explosives inside the bus, officials took the bus to the Mathura police station. Meanwhile, the bomb disposal unit also took swift measures to check a parked car near the Padukka Divisional Hospital, which had its engine on since morning. However, nothing suspicious was discovered and the vehicle was taken into police custody. Security officials also conducted special search operations in Kurunagala today, during which the teaching hospital, mosques, public transport buses, as well as stores were thoroughly searched. Following information that a person left a parcel he brought inside a private bank at Navamavata in Colombo, Police Special Task Force Police as well as the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Personnel of Sri Lanka Air Force conducted a search operation at the bank. However, no suspicious parcels were discovered. Meanwhile, police took measures to go through a parcel that was left near a private bank in Bambalapitiya yesterday, which was found to be a brick that was neatly wrapped. Police request the public to refrain from engaging in such activities which mislead people. Police spokesperson SP Rwan Gunasekhar emphasized that strong legal action will be taken against such persons who engaged in these activities. Information of a suspicious lorry and a van surfaced today and the Deputy Inspector General in charge of Colombo instructed all police stations in the district to beef up security in the city. Police meanwhile request the public to leave a note with their mobile phone numbers if they are parking their vehicles for long periods of time at roadsides. Officials also urge that nearby police stations must be informed of any vehicles that are parked due to mechanical faults. Police also urge the public to contact the hotline 116 regarding information on suspicious individuals, vehicles and incidents.